Are you ready for some good news? When you run from God, His love chases you down. Our text is Jonah chapter 3, verse 1. Then the word of the Lord came to Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and call out against it the message that I tell you. Well, the reluctant prophet couldn't stomach the idea of preaching hope to Israel's enemy, Nineveh. But Jonah wasn't just frustrated and rebellious, he was depressed. When a great storm threatened the boat he was using to flee, Jonah told the sailors to just throw him overboard. But the suicidal prophet wasn't allowed to drown that day. Instead, God appointed a great fish to swallow Jonah. And after three days in the tomb-like whale, Jonah was resurrected to dry land by the spewing of the whale. After all the running, the nearly drowning, the dwelling in fish guts, and the being spat onto dry land, the story continued with one of my favorite texts. The word of the Lord came a second time. The gift of the prophet was not revoked. The calling on Jonah's life was not canceled because of his hideous rebellion, failure, and shame. The power of God's call was greater than the power of the prophet's rejection of that call. The grace of God triumphs over shame. The pagan sailors throw the man of God into the depths, not knowing that they become the real prophets painting a portrait of the cross. Follow the story. See the foreshadowing of Jesus. The sailors are scared of the man of God. Jonah took the blame. Put the guilt on me. Throw me in the sea. The sailors tried to do it on their own, rowing hard, but were overpowered and weary before finally thinking that killing the prophet was the only way. The sailors actually called out to the God they didn't know, Oh Lord, let us not perish for this man's life and lay not on us innocent blood. And the sailors sent Jonah into the depths to die, and the sea ceased raging. And the man of God was as good as dead for three days before emerging miraculously to life again. You can see it. Jesus, the true Jonah, came to take the blame, to be tossed into the sea of our guilt, and to emerge triumphantly so that our sin would not defeat the calling of God on our lives. You can run, but you can't hide from the love of God. And that's the gospel. That's today's Daily Devotional. And for more like it, you can click right here. Or better yet, subscribe to this channel. And uh, I hope and pray you have a wonderful day.